and welcome back to Going Solo here on Music Free Gaming. It's great to have you here, and I am in my castle. Yes, look, it has a floor. This is great. It has a floor. It has ceilings. It's, well, that's about it. It has a floor and it has ceilings. Um, <laughs> But it's cool. You can take the stairs up from the main hallway, and it brings you right up here to... Well, an empty room. A very large empty room, but an empty room nonetheless. And, I mean, that's okay. I mean, who doesn't like a big empty room? Ah, but I have plans. Or I have the vague, maybe, beginnings of plans. And it's all going to start in this room. All right, so what I think I'm going to do here is I think I want to come in. Oops, I'm just going to hit all of the wrong buttons. Uh, I think what I want to do here is I want to turn this area into a throne room. Now, I'm not entirely sure which way I want the throne to go, whether I want it to start here or start over there, but that's the plan. Now I just have to figure out how this is going to get laid out. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and put the throne he around here, maybe... Maybe I'll throw the dais kind of like up this way, right? Nothing too crazy, just sort of up here like this. That way, when you come through this area, which will be the main door into the throne room, boom, throne, awesome. It's kind of like walking into a bathroom where the first thing you see is the, the throne. Yeah, that's kind of how this is going to work. Okay, so I think with the throne going over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this really narrow area here. This goes all the way up, oops, free cam, up this way. And I'm just gonna make this a staircase. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but stairs are definitely high on the list. I can't get wool from sheep without shears. I mean, okay, I can, I have a sword, but that becomes a little, little bit more of a permanent um, solution here. And I'm, I'm looking for something a little bit less permanent for my sheep. <laughs> because I don't need dead sheep. I need a live sheep. Because living sheep continue to give wool. And dead sheep, not so much. Okay, so I'm doing a little of experimenting with the stairs. And I saw this trick once. And I want to say it was Grian who first did this. But I could be wrong. I think that was just the first name I remember seeing associated with it. And the idea is you put in wall or fence post or something like that, and then you can put carpet on top of it. Well, the way this ends up working is you just end up walking right up the stairs. And even though they are a block high, right, of course, down is easy. You can just walk right on up. So I think what I want to do is change the color of all of that. But I really, really like what those stairs are doing. I like that. So, yeah, I've got some got some color changing uh, stuff to do and maybe a little bit of other decor that will have to happen here. But I think this is going to be a really nice way to get up here. And then up in this area, which is obviously just the floor above the throne room, this is where I'm going to put the royal bedrooms and quarters and stuff. So this is where the king is going to live. So that's that plan. I think this is going to work out nicely. But for now, let's focus on the throne room. Words. I have forgotten how words work. It's one of those days. It's like, I can word. Maybe. Can, can I have the words? No. I can not have words. And no, I am not creating a sticky throne. This is not going to be the throne of old Sticky Butt, right? That's over on, on the nerdy server. That's not happening here. Old Sticky Butt is not, this is not that throne. No, 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 no. I'm not using honey. Sticky Butt is not happening today. So what I think I'm going to do here is let's, uh, just going to turn off the overlay there. And let's start with a gold block because gold is awesome. I know netherite is like fancier and stuff, but gold looks cooler. 
well, you know, for uh, this sort of thing. Why do I have 18 zillion torches? Oh, because I was lighting up this room when it was dark. All right, so you know what I really want is a gold slab. I am not getting a gold slab, however, so I now need a little something else here. I think maybe if I slap a trap door up on top here and do a little bit of uh, lighting magic, maybe a, I suppose maybe a few warped slabs or something in front of this, I might actually end up having to move this back a little bit. All right, but hey, got some ideas, so let's go get some stuff. I'm not totally unhappy with this, which I suppose is a good thing. Are you totally unhappy with this, or are you uh, marginally okay? That's a very good question. Uh, detailing is not my jam, but uh, on the other hand, neither is actually making jam, and I love jam, so, you know, sometimes you just go with what works, right? So I'm looking at the throne here, and I've I've done a bunch of stuff here with some warped stem, uh, some crimson trap doors and things, and the lights, and then, of course, all of the gold for the throne. And one, I think the uh, gold looks really nice with the warped blocks, but I think this is okay. I can, get, I can get down with this. So now what I need to do is build a really nice backdrop back here. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to do, but it would, I think it'll look cool. Oh yeah, that's much better. Replace some of those front blocks with stairs. And now this is, this is much better. I need to set up some decorative nonsense behind it, as I mentioned before. But I think the basic shape for the throne, where the throne is going to be, is set. Now, I was joking a little bit earlier in chat that what I might do is actually set up like a sticky piston to pull this gold block out of the way so you can just drop down and end up in a secret area. For now, I'm going to leave it. If I decide to go redstone crazy with this, that's uh, that's a problem for future me. But for now, I kind of like where this is this is going. So we'll start here. How do your advisors get up to, thro to the throne? Well, it's simple. My advisors never have to get up to the throne because obviously I am so much more intelligent than they are that they have nothing to tell me. So... What do I need advisors for? All right. Got a little extra decor happening here around the throne. And that's already adding a little bit of extra detail and stuff that I like. I might uh, pop up here a little bit and maybe throw in some candles and stuff around the outside or a little bit of something here. But overall, I think this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. All right, so I've added a wall inside here to sort of mirror the side so I've got a little bit of symmetry. And right now I've got a space knocked in the wall just so I can get in and out. Honestly, that's not a bad place to slap in a, uh, a really stupid, simple piston door. Right? Because then I could like hit a button or something, pop open the pistons, and whoosh, right in to all of this area which would be awesome. And then, okay, I've got all this sort of negative space, but heck, I could block it up. There's nothing that says I have to build something in every block that exists. Drop those sticky pistons for a minute. I'll come back for you, sticky piston. I, I will. I will come back for you. I still love you. Come back to me, Sticky Piston. Ah, oh, I have missed you. I've missed you so. All right, on today's episode of Idiots Doing Redstone, I actually have now a one by two door that was really stupid. So now I can hit this button, that opens. And 
I've got to the ugliest redstone in the world, but the button hits there, redstone goes over the arch there, around to this knot gate, which is now keeping that closed. And if I want to go back through it, hit the button, it opens, and now I'm back through. Does it work? Yes. Is it the ugliest thing in the world? Also yes. But it works, and I think I'm going to be happy with that. All right, so I think I now have a really stupid looking entrance tunnel. Hit the button, it takes you through here, obviously. That's how that works. And then you come out right here. Now I haven't finished building the wall up and I've now have a chest stashed back here. But I think if I were to slap a door in and uh, I don't know, bring up a little bit more stone, right? Just coming back this way all the way up and down and around into the sides and maybe in that hole I just created, you know, that type of thing. I think we might actually have a fairly decent, uh, fairly decent wall. Is the redstone ugly? Yes. Um, does it do what I need it to do? Also, yes. Am I okay with that? You betcha. So, I'm just going to go ahead and Bring this wall down that way and yeah so it's a little bit it's a little bit cheesy there but I like it I at least the function functionally this is good All right so the door works I can come in here and if I want to right I could just I could even actually put a little storage here if I wanted to so now what I was also thinking about doing is maybe putting in a door uh, so I could potentially use this as a quick and dirty storage room or something like that. Um, and I still can. Um, actually, a spruce door might not be a bad thing right there. There or something. Actually, I don't like putting it there. Right, so I could put the spruce door right here. And I've got a nice little closet to walk into. Okay, that's cool. Um, guess I need to go craft a door, but I think that's going to work. Uh, lighter, not torch. Okay, who here thinks you should be able to light candles with a torch? Right? Is that just is that just me? Oops. Uh, that that thinks that makes sense. I mean, maybe I'm the only one. But a torch has fire on it. You should totally be able to uh, use use a torch to light candles, right? Sure. I, yeah, okay. Maybe not. All right, so I'm trying to get some lighting in place. I yeah, let's, let's try the typical. Oh, let's put uh, light on a fence post. And candles. Candles are awesome. But one candle is way too dim. And more than one candle looks so stupid so I could try a couple of dif different things right I mean the good old-fashioned option right is just to slap a torch up oops, on the thing right that gives you your typical sconce look but man all of that just looks a little crazy I don't know I have to do chandelier Still need to get some carpet in, maybe put some lighting under that first. And then we'll see what happens out here. Maybe that's the way to approach this. So let me let me hit that first. Man, interior decorating sucks, man. <laughs> I mean Some of it you think, oh, this should be really easy. No, man. I look at this stuff, it's like, I have no idea what I'm doing. None. It's like, um, does this look good? Well, maybe I don't know. This, this, it's a problem. It is a, it's a problem, y'all. All right, the candles were not working for me. I wanted them to work for me. They weren't working for me. But I decided to come in with here a little bit of deep slate with the chains and the lanterns, and I think this gives a much better look. Now I think there needs to be a little bit more something down here 
not sure I want them hanging from the wall like they are. I could even run something along the top and maybe fill in the ceiling with something different. I, mean, I, I could even still stay, keep it spruce. But I think this is going to be a, I think this is going to be a reasonable start. I said it needs a little bit more decor, but I said a reasonable start. And now I've, and I've got the shroom lights in. It's going to light the center of the room. I will eventually cover this with some form of carpet, but I don't have the wool to do that. So right now it's blank, but we'll uh, definitely play with some things. But for now, let's go ahead and whip right back around here. And then we'll see one, two, three, four. No, that one should go there. It should line up there. So it's actually three. And then one, two, three, and that's gonna go there. Yeah, cool. So apparently I'm out of deep slate. I'm out of lanterns. Uh, so I need to go restock, but I think this'll at least start getting the walls looking, you know, fairly reasonable. Oh, there it is. I just didn't put it in the toolbox because hey, that would have made sense. This is why I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to uh, organization. Because I can't keep myself organized in any way, shape, or form normally. It just... Stuff just ends up everywhere. And that's just... Weird and wrong. Oh, well. Well, I'll... Somehow... Somehow, some way, I'll survive this. Okay, so... The main entrance here is going to be a doorway he sitting here. Now... One door sitting in that gap looks kind of stupid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do sort of this, uh, well, I was going to do sort of this, uh, what I like to think of as a pearlescent moon style door, right? Where you get the trap doors going around the spruce and it makes the door look bigger than it is, which is actually kind of cool. You know, she made it famous on Hermitcraft uh, in Season 8, where people would walk up to her door and couldn't figure out or kept misclicking and opening the wrong parts of the door. But here, you can come in and there you go, door. Though, given the spruce floor, I'm not entirely sure the spruce door and trap doors is the way to go, but... Uh, Dark oak might be better, but I want to take this sort of approach to this door. So for now, I'm going to leave it spruce. And as I come around and do more um, decorating, I might change that out. All right. I think that's going to be it for the stream today. I've got a nice throne. It, that's working. I've got the, the throne room was a work in progress, but the throne's looking pretty good. And... I've got a nice little uh, redstone door. It's ugly as heck, but it works. So I think I think this is a successful day. So let's go ahead and call it. Don't forget to like the video, of course, and subscribe to the channel. You know all that good stuff. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music for Gaming, signing off.